Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Well, we got a little easy job today, super easy as a matter of fact. I have a friend that had a AMC car that was painted Matador Red when he was a young man, and now he has his AMX, his dream car, that he wants to paint Matador Red. The problem is, there's no active formula out there uh, for modern paint for uh, Matador Red off an AMC. So uh, we've been doing a lot of research. He's, he's looked at forums, talked to a bunch of people. So uh, luckily my friend, it's, uh, he's been working in the paint, automotive paint business since we were in high school together. He started when we were still in school. Uh, he knows a lot about uh, this stuff, and he was able to get a hold of the paint library. I think it's in Minnesota. I'm not positive on that. And uh, they finally got back to him with a formula for Matador Red. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do some spray outs. So I have two different colors. The, uh, my friend that has uh, the car he wants to paint Matador Red, he found a BMW color that's supposed to be right on the money or very close. And then, of course, my friend at the paint store, he came up with a formula from the paint library uh, for Matador Red. So we have two spray outs to do. And I've got some spray out cards. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. Um, but we're going to be spraying on these. And then uh, I'm going to be spraying two cards for each color. One will get clear and one will not get clear. So uh, my friend can see it in the base coat with no clear and he can see it with clear on it. So let's jump over here and take a look at what we got set up and uh, get some paint mixed up and get these spray out cards done. Okay, as you guys can see, I just have a paint uh, stir stick taped up to my rack here, and I've got a couple of clothespins holding the uh, spray out cards. Now, spray out cards, you can tell here that it's got white and black, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but see that? They're very shiny. I mean, they're ready to go. So it's not like you're spraying on cardboard that's going to pull in all the solvent and possibly screw up your, uh, your color match. So, and they have holes here, and the holes are so you can hold it over the original color, you know, once you get it sprayed out and see if it matches. So uh, these are very handy when you're trying to blend or match, and it's also very handy when you're just trying to figure out what color you want to paint your car. You know, you pick up a half a pint of base coat, and then uh, you can do some spray outs. And since there's white and black, you can see how it's gonna react over different colored uh, bases or sealers or primers. So if you've got a darker gray primer and you spray this out and you can see that it's gonna take a lot to cover or it covers better, then you know, then you know which direction to go. And it'll also help you pick out what your base is gonna be, whatever your sealer or your primer color is optimum for your base coat color. So uh, that way you don't, uh, you know, primers are a lot less expensive than color base coat. So, you know, you want to help yourself out and get that car closer to the uh, top coat color. So on these cards, um, on the back, they have a, all kinds of where you can, if you're a paint guy, you can actually write down what your formulas are, what your additions and subtractions and everything else so you can keep track of it. Now on the back of these cards, I've already labeled them. Uh, you know what this color is you want to do it before you start spraying and try to figure it out later since I'm spraying two different colors So we're going to spray base coat on these we're going to let them flash off and Then we're going to spray clear over just one of them and keep the other one just straight base coat uh, Like I mentioned earlier, so let's move over to the bench and we'll talk about the colors real quick Okay guys here are the two colors uh, that uh, we have mixed up. Now this is a BMW, it's a half a pint. Uh, this is about smallest you'll ever get to get at a paint store is a half a pint. And that's just to save money. We're just doing spray outs here. We don't want to get any more paint than we need to. So this, uh, this is the BMW color, it's Imola Red. Um, and so um, I'll actually take uh, pictures of this and post it on the video, just a screenshot for a few seconds so you guys can pause and look at it if you're interested in uh, trying to get these colors. Um, so that's the BMW one, a half a pint. Unfortunately, I could not get a half a pint in the Matador, AMC Matador Red because the formula will not break down any smaller than 15 ounces. So basically, I paid for a pint here. So uh, this one, there's not a lot in here but uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna match right on the money. I've got, uh, I got some uh, reducer here, fast reducer. It's only 52 degrees in the shop uh, today. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these up 
spray them, let them flash off, and then, like I mentioned earlier, we're only going to spray clear on one each of the colors and save the other one. Now, I have, um, instead of mixing up my really good clear for, you know, painting, um, I just picked up a can of Rust-Oleum clear, and that's what we're going to do to spray over the top to gloss these out. And that's really all you need so you can tell, you know, how it's going to look, because it will look different in uh, just base, coat with no clear than it does with clear on it. So we want to be able to make sure they look really nice, take them out into the sun, you know, do some comparisons and see which one he likes the best. And hopefully one of these two is going to, you know, end his massive search for Matador Red. And I, as for what I understand, there's a lot of guys online looking for a formula for Matador Red. So maybe this could be it. Okay, I got the paint all stirred up and uh, I, I forgot to pick up some little tiny uh, mixing cups at the paint store last time. So I'm just going to fake it. It's just spray out anyway. So I've got these little mini uh, shot glasses kind of things and I just put a line on there. Now this base coat mix is one to one. So all I'm going to do is pour some red in here, pour it in the larger container, pour some reducer in there to the same line, pour it in, stir it up and we'll be able to spray. So it's not, uh, it's not rocket science by any means. So this is a pretty deep looking red. And it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a muddy looking red, but uh, you know, if you know, everybody has their own personal choice on reds. There are uh, ones that look kind of orangey and then there's ones that look kind of blue. So, um, and then there's ones like these really old colors, some of these older colors that really look, um, more muddy and then you'll find that in the older colors because they just didn't have the technology the formulas to make a really brilliant red and that's why those older reds are just kind of muddy looking you know and that that's just the way it was so and if you're really into that you know it's perfect for you but uh, I'm more of a bright red kind of a guy um, you know and that's that's really what I like so let's get some reducer in here I'm just going to pour it right back up to that line and I'm not worried about this is just a spray so the the reducer too much or too little reducer is not going to affect the color at all it's just going to affect uh, how well it sprays okay let's get this mixed up we'll get it into a gun now you can see I'm making a little tiny batch it's not going to take much paint to get this done so we're going to get this mixed up really well. I'll get into a gun and we'll go spray it out. Okay, we're going to just spray to cover. So we only want to put off on just enough to get it to cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit them. So we're going to let that flash off and then um, till it's hand slick. And that means, so I can run my hand over and it doesn't feel like there's any drag at all. It's just super dry. And then we're gonna put another coat on it. And you can already see why you would want a two-tone uh, spray out cart. So this is looking, you know, pinkish red and this is looking, you know, brown and burgundy. So we're gonna to have to put enough coats on to make sure we get good coverage. And so we know that this color is gonna be exactly what it's gonna look like when you have it on the car. Okay, let's get a second coat on here. And you can already tell, just having that dark base back behind there, um, how much different this is going to affect when you're spraying. So, you really have to try to pick your uh, sealers or whatever your final primer, whatever you're using before you put your base coat on, what, you're, what color you're picking because it does matter. And it does matter if it's blotchy. It should be all the same color when you guys are doing spray, uh, when you're spraying your cars or trucks. So we're going to let that flash off again. I've got enough paint left in the gun, so I'm going to go ahead and give it another coat, maybe two more just to make sure we've got plenty of paint on here. Uh, I've already got mixed up, so we just want to make sure we got a true uh, color of what this thing's going to be. Okay, I've got actually four coats on here, and you can still see the line where the black is down here and the white is up there. There's plenty of paint on here, 
but doing these spray outs actually helps you decide how many coats you're going to need to achieve color hide. So uh, some colors hide very well and other colors don't. Uh, one of my most favorite reds, it says right on the, uh, right on the formula thing, it, the note says does not cover well. It takes a lot more of that red to cover, uh, you know, and get, achieve hide. So uh, in this case, this color looks like it hides pretty well. It covers pretty well. Um, it's a deeper red, more of a ruby red. Uh, so we're going to set these aside, let them dry. I'm going to mix up the other color of red. We're going to spray that, let that uh, dry, and then we're going to go ahead and just clear just one each of uh, both of those cards. So I'm going to pull these down, put the other ones up, mix up the other color, spray it, and then I'll bring you back when it's time to spray some clear on these and we'll see how they look. Okay, we got the two samples. Uh, we got all four sprayed. I'm going to leave two just plain base coat like I said earlier. Uh, this is the BMW uh, one that was supposed to be matted or red or close to it. And this is the one that my buddy got from the color library back east. And uh, I believe this is going to be the one. This one just looks kind of uh, almost burgundy to me. So uh, this is Pro Base and this is Crossfire uh, base coat. And this one was much thinner uh, viscosity. And uh, this one covered better, but you can see both of them. Now there's four coats on here and there's five coats on this one. Yeah, it's, uh, when you're spraying red, you just have to accept I've sprayed a lot of red in my life and it just takes more material to get good hiding. Even if you're using a tinted sealer or a tinted primer underneath, you just have to put a lot more uh, base coat on before you can start spraying clear. It's just the way reds are. So, uh, you know, the, the way this is set up here, um, obviously uh, this one, I believe this one is not even close. That BMW that uh, the, the guy that owns the, the AMX was thinking it might be the one. Uh, clearly it's not. Uh, I think this is going to be the one right here. So I've got some Rust-Oleum clear like I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to back the camera up. We're going to put a couple of light coats of clear on here so they're really glossed out. We're going to let them dry, take them out in the sun, and see what they look like. We just want enough paint film thickness on there to make sure that the color comes out like we want it. Okay, I'm going to let those dry a little bit, and then we're going to roll them out in the sun, let them dry the rest of the way, and then uh, we'll go take a look at them out in the sun. Okay, so we got them out in the sun. This, uh, this one right here is just uh, base coat, no clear. That's a base coat and clear, base coat and clear, and just base coat. So as you can tell, I'll go a couple of different angles here, that... These colors look a little different once you get clear on them. So uh, I don't know how it shows up in the camera, but you know, just playing base coat and then getting the clear on there, it deepens that just a little bit and it actually makes it look a little more purple in my eyes. Um, now this one over here doesn't change much, as you can tell between the two colors. With the clear on, it's a little brighter, but uh, really the shade doesn't really change much. Where this one, it definitely, to my eye, it looks more purple with the clear on it. So it's always important to do spray outs uh, and use whatever top coat clear you're gonna be using. If you're using a satin or a dulled clear, you know, make sure you spray that on there. Whatever you're using, get it sprayed on there so you have a better idea what it's gonna look like when the car is done. So uh, this experiment, I think we've got some success here. I've, I'll get these over to uh, my friend with the AMX and uh, see what he thinks and then ultimately it's his choice what color red he paints his own car so and he is going to be doing it uh, do it yourself or I've just been getting some tips here and there so uh, I can't wait to uh, show him these and uh, see what he thinks. Okay guys that pretty much wraps up this video on doing spray outs for uh, color selection and as you can tell a big difference between the two colors that we thought were going to be close. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a bust right here, but I have a really good feeling about this one. I think from what I remember seeing pictures of Matador Red, this is the one right here, or at least close to it. And uh, I'm kind of anxious to get him over to my friend, let him look at him and kind of decide he's got to decide for himself and then just spend a few days or a week even just looking at it and then walking away and looking at it again and kind of take that time. And I really encourage you guys, if you're not positive about your color selection for your vehicle or bike or boat, whatever, do some spray outs, get, get a pint, get a half a pint. It doesn't even have to be base coat. Uh, it can be a uh, single stage and you just spray it out, do a nice panel that's prepared 
properly so it's nice and smooth, just like your car would be. Do a spray out and then, you know, spend some time with it deciding if that's the color. It's one of the big choices for your car, so take the time, spend a little money, and do a spray out. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint and Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.